But in the original Cinderella, there's only two evil stepsisters, and this time there are three. Every single button is a different album. May 13th could be a release day this year. In the background, we have the instrumental version of Long Live. That's a really strange coincidence. And again, it makes me think Speak Now Taylor's version will be next. I don't know how much clearer she could be with these Easter eggs. Like, they're pretty obvious at this point. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. If you're new here, welcome, I'm so happy to have you, and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. As soon as I watched this music video, I knew that I had to do a complete breakdown of all of the Easter eggs because there is just so many. I dressed for the occasion, I have my star midnight earrings, we've got the sharp cat eye, we've got the midnight blue sparkly nails. Anyways, if you've watched my channel before, you know I love to do my research and get in there and find as much as I can and share it with you guys all in one place because it is so hard to keep track of all the Easter eggs because Taylor Swift is literally psychotic when it comes to this stuff and she was on Jimmy Fallon The Tonight Show on Monday right before this music video came out and she said they have a PDF to keep track of all the Easter eggs because there is a psychotic amount of Easter eggs in this video and so I went through and I watched this video so many times I just went frame by frame looking for things thinking of any possible Easter egg so this is what I came up with. Let's just get into it. So when Taylor Swift posted about the premiere of Bejeweled, she said that she made this video specifically for you, meaning the fans, the Swifties. Just like a side note, for you is the secret message of Long Live on Speak Now. We're gonna circle back to that, but that's first what I saw when I saw her post. I'm like, okay, this is giving very much Speak Now. And she said at the beginning of this Instagram caption, this sparkling evening, which makes me think of Enchanted. This night is sparkling. So I think there's just so many references, just even without looking at the video so far. But yeah, let's get into the actual video. So we have the opening scene. It's like more of like a dialogue thing going on. And in the background, you can hear Enchanted, like the instrumental classical version, which was like the first thing that everybody noticed, which makes sense because this video is based around the fairy tale of Cinderella and Enchanted is a very whimsical fairy tale type of song so it makes sense that she would tie that in there but this video just has like the Speak Now era vibes all over it with being kind of a fairy tale because that album was so very magical with Sparks Fly, Enchanted, Speak Now, just all of it. Also, Bejeweled is track nine on Midnight's, and Enchanted is track nine on Speak Now. Now, I think she did that on purpose because Bejeweled is very, again, sparkling, shimmering, giving off all of the vibes from Enchanted. That definitely was not a coincidence. I'm mostly gonna be talking about the Speak Now Easter eggs, but I'm also gonna mention just a few other things to note in the video. And one of the first things I wrote down was that Taylor wanted the castle. You know, they have like the three stepsisters and they all want like the title, the ring, whatever, and she wants the castle for herself. She doesn't want the prince. And this could be a nod to all of the lyrics in Midnight's referring to everyone waiting for her to just get married, but she's like, that's not what she wants right now. Um, so I think that's something to note because then the stepmother says, I adore a proposal, the single most defining thing a lady could hope to achieve in her lifetime. And that's kind of digging at everyone that like keeps speculating that Taylor Swift and Joe are married or, or engaged or whatever. She wants people to just stop speculating about that because she wants to be her own person and have her own career and everything like that. So that's just a little jab to the haters. And then the three stepsisters, I think this is significant just because they're Taylor Swift's friends, the Heim sisters. And so yes, there's three of them. So that makes sense. But in the original Cinderella, there's only two evil stepsisters. And this time there are three. I just think every time she's gonna reference a three, that means speak now because because Speak Now is the third album. Could be a coincidence, but it also could be intentional. Most of the time, I feel like Taylor Swift is very intentional. And then the evil stepmother says, Speak Not tacky wench. And so that's a very obvious nod to Speak Now. Speak Not immediately, that's what I thought of. And you guys could see that one in my little reaction video I did. And it, like when I react to music videos or songs, my initial first run through, I'm very focused. So I'm not gonna react like right away. And so I think the first time I watched this video, I really didn't pick up on a ton of Easter eggs. I did pick up on a few though. 
Hello guys, tonight the Bejeweled music video came out and I just thought I would get my live reaction to it since I couldn't get my live reaction to Antihero. So let's just watch it together, shall we? I'm going to see how many Easter eggs I could spot on the first time around. I'm sure there's going to be a ton. So we have a little bit of dialogue. That's interesting. Oh, she's well, Cinderella. Taylor Swift as Cinderella. The Heim sisters. Is that Enchanted I hear in the background? I hear a an instrumental version of Enchanted, which this song was giving Enchanted anyways. Also, Bejeweled is track nine. Enchanted is track nine. And, you know, Fairy Tales, that's just like has Speak Now written all over it, so. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's funny. This is funny. <laughs> well, we all know who's not coming tonight. Speak not, tired tacky wit. Speak not. Speak now. These are like little films almost, like mini films. Exiled. Snake. Oh, here she goes. Look at her. Oh, oh, exile ends. See, I know I gotta like, I feel like I gotta like pause it throughout here. And then it has a zero, three. Oh, two, one. Okay, so it's a countdown. Oh, she's got the hood on, which reminds me of the Willow music video with the hood on. I'm going out tonight. Oh, yeah. Get it, Taylor. Oh, she's so sparkly. Nice. A polish up real. A polish up real. Nice. Oh, she looks so good. In, what is she doing? Oh, what a corset moment. Where's the fairy godmother is my question. I love that outfit. But I'm Miss Sparkling. Oh, we got a new outfit. Oh, this is giving like Met Gala 2014. Okay. Oh, 13th floor. Oh, okay. Here she goes. She, oh, she, oh, she's on the stage now. I haven't seen any significant Easter eggs yet. Hmm. She's a showgirl. Wow, she's showing the belly button. It does exist. If you know, you know. Prince Jack was forced to propose to house wench Taylor? Uh, why? She ghosted. She ghosted? Oh, T-S. But kept the castle. <laughs> she married him. And then she ghosted him and kept his castle? This is giving love story, this little scene. What? Oh, there's some dragons. Okay. Oh, it's, oh that was the end. Wow. Very fairy tale like Wow, okay. That was cool. I'm sure I'm gonna have to watch it a million more times to get the Easter eggs. And then as they're walking out, one of the sisters says, bye snake. And that's a nod to the reputation era, her being called a snake. And so throughout this scene, you could just see like the little like insults from all different time periods coming at her. And also the stepmother says, you were exiled here. And so of course, exile is like a nod to the song from folklore. And I don't know, I don't know exactly where this fits in yet, but then when the song starts playing, there's the pocket watch that comes into the scene. She opens it and it says exile ends and then it has a countdown three two and so every time I see a three I'm gonna think speak now immediately and I don't know what exactly the countdown could mean. Some people think it could be nodding to a release date in December but I don't get too attached to the date theories because a lot of them are wrong most of the time and it's just coincidence but people are saying this could have to do with the upcoming tour like her exile's ending she's gonna come back out on tour that could be something and then another side note is that she just performed Formed exile live for the first time ever with Bonnie Vare at his concert. So I don't know if that has to do with anything either, but that's just a weird coincidence that she references exile and then she performed it with Bonnie Vare literally today. So moving on to the next Easter egg, she gets in the elevator with the sparkly hood and I think everybody thought the same thing. This is a parallel to Ready For It from the opening of the Reputation Tour. She has the sparkly gold hood, and it's also a parallel to the Willow music video where she has the cloak on. It looks almost identical. And then we get to the elevator buttons, and it's very obvious right here that every single button is a different album, counting from the debut album being the first floor all the way to floor 13, which is purple. Midnight's is the 12th floor, and then the 13th floor is purple, and we know that each number, number three, 
three is speak now. And so everyone thought, oh, after midnight's is speak now Taylor's version. And this is the most obvious Easter egg for that. Keeping that in the back of your mind, she presses the third floor, which is purple for speak now. And then also the indicator above the elevator that goes back and forth is also color coded with the albums in order. So then she gets out on the third floor and it immediately reminded me of the Wonderstruck perfume commercial. She's just kind of like looking around very like starstruck and wonderstruck and all that. That might be an Easter egg, I don't know, but that's what I thought of because, you know, she's coming out onto the third floor, which should be a reference to speak now. And it kind of makes sense because everything's very magical and there's jewels and everything. Then she gets back in the elevator and she presses the fifth floor, which is color coded as blue. 1989 is the fifth album and the color associated with it is blue. So that's a very important reference there too, meaning people think Speak Now will come first, which is next, and then 1989 will follow after that release. And then when she gets out on the fifth floor, again, immediately thought the way that she was dressed and her makeup and her hair looked very similar to the Wildest Dreams music video where she's at that movie premiere. And giving like, this just gives so much of 1989 era because she has like the short bob. Her makeup is very similar to then. After she splashes around in the cocktail glass with the fairy godmother, then she gets back in the elevator and she presses the 13th floor, which again is purple. And again, it makes me think Speak Now Taylor's version will be next. It's almost too obvious at this point, but also the numbers of the elevator floors could mean another theory. So if you remember way back when there was a theory, May 13th, I think this was way back 2021, early 2021, we thought she was going to release something May 13th last year, she didn't, and then again when we saw the behind the scenes photo of the making of Midnight's in the background on the wall you can see the date May 13th. And so seeing that she pressed 5 and then 13, people think May 13th could be a release date this year for Speak Now or whatever. Um, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind because that's a really strange coincidence. And then when the scene opens on the 13th floor, she is on the clock and it is at 3 o'clock. Again, might be a reference to Speak Now being the third album. She is on a stage, and this reminded me of the main music video from Speak Now because that music video also takes place on a stage, and the way that she's dressed in the Bejeweled video reminded me of the very end scene of Mean where she's dressed kind of like a flapper and her hair and it just like gives off the same vibes. So I think that could be a little callback to the Speak Now era. And then finally, towards the end of the video, in the scene with Jack where she's standing there, she has two hair clips, S and N. I don't know how much clearer she could be with these Easter eggs, like they're pretty obvious at this point. And then she winks, so almost confirming it. And then the very last scene, she comes out onto the balcony of the castle and her hair clips now say T and S. So I don't know, she switched that so that you had to think more about the speak now Easter egg, I don't know. In the background, we have the instrumental version of Long Live, another track from Speak Now, track 13. And the balcony is identical to the balcony that she had in her closing song on the Speak Now tour, where she sang Love Story at this flying balcony that went across the arena at the concert, which again, cannot be a coincidence. We have three dragons flying around the scene, and this is a nod to the lyrics from Long Live. I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. There's three dragons, another three, taking it back to that Instagram caption where she said this was made specifically for you, for you being the secret message of Long Live for the fans. She made this video so that we could find all these Easter eggs. And I think this probably is just for fun, but in that last scene where it zooms out, you can see the little Long Pond studio in the corner of the forest, which is kind of fun. And my last little Easter egg is that that this video came out 
on a random Tuesday, which is not normal for a single or a music video to come out, but it just happened to be October 25th, which is the 12 year anniversary of Speak Now. I have never been more confident in a theory than I am in this theory that Speak Now is coming next. And I feel like I always believed that because I think there's still some things to clean up legally with the 1989 Shake It Off lawsuit. So maybe she's pressing forward with Speak Now, but I couldn't be more excited. But I think because she had Midnight's planned out three years in advance, like she said a while back, saying that she had dropped Easter eggs that far in advance, meaning all the way back to the lover era she was dropping hints on what her next album would be and i don't think she expected to write folklore and evermore before she put out midnights but that's kind of what happened now that we have the midnights era i think now she's thinking about moving forward with more of the re-records because i think we all thought the next album was going to be a re-record and not a brand new album so when she announced midnights a couple months ago everybody was like completely caught off guard because we totally thought speak now or 1989 was coming next but I think coming early next year, maybe the spring, we might have another re-record, which I'm very excited about Speak Now because it's my favorite album. But anyways, this is everything that I found in the video. Let me know if I missed anything. Like always, we can talk about it in the comments down below. I definitely think there's gonna be one more music video because there are scenes from her little teaser trailer that haven't been seen yet in Antihero or Bejeweled. And so I think maybe the third single might be Lavender haze because that's kind of what those pictures were giving off but I'm looking forward to that video because I'm sure there's gonna be more Easter eggs for speak now especially because that song is all about purple and lavender and all of that but anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos I'm gonna be posting guitar tutorials lyric breakdowns any other kind of videos that come up with Taylor Swift I will see you guys in the next video bye what, 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 what am I trying to say? Best believe I'm still bejeweled When I walk in the room I can still make the whole place shimmer I think that's my favorite part of the song I can't wait to see this song on tour I'm, I'm ready for the glitter confetti cannons